My interoperability is, of course, our key to breaking down barriers between the use of Nextcloud and the wide range of contexts. A lot of organizations are using a number of different tools and platforms, including Nextcloud Hub. And a lot of our customers are using Microsoft products. Now, to help these organizations, we offer a variety of integrations with Nextcloud together with our partner, Sendent. And the most well-known of these is probably the Outlook integration. So, you know the situation, you have to send some really big data to a customer or a partner. Uh, maybe the plans for an infrastructure project, a large research data set, or a marketing campaign. And these files are really big. You can't just attach them. Now, the Outlook add-in can automatically detect the situation. It will upload the files to your own Nextcloud and then insert a link into the email so that when you send the mail, people can just click the link and then download the files there. And the whole limit on size is completely yeah, gone. Now, of course, you can also directly pick a file from your Nextcloud and insert that as a link into the email. But there is another integration that comes courtesy of the Outlook add-in. And this is integration with Talk. When you're creating a calendar appointment with one click, you can also create a Talk room so that other people can easily join you in a call using Nextcloud Talk. Now, Sendent has been working on a major rewrite of the add-in built on the latest Microsoft technologies. And this has a number of benefits. First of all, it brings with it support for macOS, as well as the Microsoft Outlook web interface, bringing it to all the important platforms that a lot of our customers need to support. The new add-in also continues to support the secure mail feature. So this is a feature that you might be familiar with if you're at a bank or you've interacted with a government organization and they were sending you confidential information. What this does is instead of just uploading the attachments, it also uploads the email content itself to Nextcloud so that when you receive an email that is sent via the secure mail feature, it just has a link and a password for the link if this is set. And then you have to access the content of the email as well as the attachment, of course, at the link. Now, this way, the data of the user, the sensitive data that you're emailing them, is not shared with the email provider that the user is using, which could be a private email provider like Gmail or Hotmail or something like that. So this way, the data is being kept, well, on Nextcloud, secure in a way. And it can also use guest accounts so that the user just gets a notification and a link and then has to log in there before they can see the email and download the attachments. Now, there is more, of course, to Outlook integration, and that's why we earlier introduced the Microsoft Exchange Connector. This syncs Nextcloud calendars and Outlook calendars, so it is very easy for users to edit a calendar in Nextcloud and then see the changes in Outlook and the other way around, making use between those applications much more seamless. It does more. It also works for calendar and contacts. So your contacts will be synced between your Nextcloud and your Outlook, and so you have the same on both. So the final Nextcloud Exchange Connector release is scheduled for later this year, and you can still sign up for beta testing. Now the third and last integration that is coming for Outlook, uh, well, for Microsoft, is actually Microsoft Teams integration. So this integration will make it easy to share files into a Teams chat room directly from Nextcloud. You can simply select the files, you know, set the password, expiration date if you like, and then the link is directly inserted with a nice preview into the Teams conversation. We invite you to join our beta programs. You can learn more about these integration apps on our blog. But of course, on the back end of Nextcloud, there is also a ton of integrations with Microsoft environment. For example, you can have shared storage between Windows Network Drive and SharePoint and Nextcloud, or you can have your user directory shared using Active Directory, or for editing documents, you can use the Microsoft Office Online Server directly. So between all these different and improved integrations, we think our customers will have a great experience working between a Nextcloud system and a Microsoft environment, and we look forward to your feedback on all these.